Uh, praise God, our sisters and our brothers. It is wonderful again to come uh, to your screens and especially bringing the word of God. Uh, like uh, uh, we all know, maybe you do not know you are coming to hear this for the first time. Uh, 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 it's a family of Deliverance Church, Imara Daima. Uh, we are going through a time, a session of prayer, prayer and fasting picking up from the 1st of July. And uh, today uh, marks the first day of our prayer and fasting. And uh, uh, I just want us to enjoy the scriptures. The theme of, uh, the theme of our prayer this month is uh, from Jeremiah uh, chapter number 33, uh, picking up from verse number three. And the Bible says, call to me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. God speaks to Jeremiah, and he tells Jeremiah, call to me, and I will answer you. So the business of Jeremiah is to call. The business of God is to answer. And uh, he does not only answer, the Bible says, in, the, in answering, I will do great, I will show you great and mighty things that you do not know. As we come to this month, I want you to come and bring your burdens. I want you to come and bring your need. I want you to come and bring your issues. The Lord will answer, and not only answer, he will do great and mighty things. This evening, I want to help us understand that our prom God's promises in our lives never fail. The promises of God in our lives never fail, and especially if we will remain faithful and especially if we will remain committed, and especially if we will be able to live to love our God. As a son and a father, when the son comes to the father to ask for bread, the father does not give a stone. That's the teachings of Jesus Christ. And let's be able to look at a short uh, scripture in uh, uh, First Kings chapter number, First Kings chapter number 18. I want to pick up from verse number 22. And the Bible says, let's just enjoy the reading of the scripture. Let's just enjoy the reading of the scriptures. Then Elijah said to the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450. Verse number 23. Let them therefore give us two bulls, bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood. Put on fire under. Put no fire. Put no fire under. And I will, and I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood. Put no fire under it. Verse number 24. And call you on the name of your gods. The Baal prophets call you on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord, Elohim. And the God that answers by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Our Father, we just bless your name tonight. As we listen to the scriptures, minister to us in a very new way. Minister to us in a very special way. I thank you and I bless you. For this I pray in Jesus' name. This is a scenario uh, Elijah had just gone to King Ahab and he has told King Ahab, it shall not rain but at my word. Until I speak, it will not rain in this nation. And therefore, for three years, it did not rain. When you read chapter number uh, 18 from verse number, number 1, the Bible says, And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go you show yourself to Ahab, and I, will, and I will send rain upon the earth. From when Elijah spoke to Ahab the king and said, It shall not rain but at my word. Now we are in chapter number 18, and the Bible says, over three years, it has not rained. And God speaks to Elijah and says, go show yourself to King Ahab. 
And uh, in the process, God, Elijah wakes up because he obeys. He walks in the commandments of God. And Elijah begins a journey to go meet King, uh, uh, King Ahab, who was looking for his body, who was looking for his head, who wanted to kill him. Why? Because he, according to Ahab, he was the reason of the sufferings of the people of Israel. He was the reason why it had not lain for three and a half years. Listen to this. Listen to this. Verse number 17, the Bible says, And it came to pass when Ahab saw Elijah, that Ahab said to, to him, Are you he that troubles Israel? Are you the one that puts trouble in Israel? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what is troubling you. In the months of July, may, as we go to God in prayer and fasting, may God answer all your troubles. I don't know what's troubling you. I don't know what is paining you. And if you have never been pained, you don't know prayer and fasting. If you have never been troubled, you do not know prayer and fasting. There are some things that come into your life. There are some things that come into your family that pushes you on the wall and calls, that makes you be able to run to God in prayer. And then not only in prayer, you say this, God says some of these troubles, some of this pain, some of these sufferings can only go by prayer and fasting. And that's why as a family of Deliverance Church, we have set aside the month of July for prayer. And not only prayer, we have set the month of July for prayer and fasting. Come on board as a son of God. Let's pray this month. Let's pray of our problems. Let's pray of our pains. Let's pray of our sufferings. In this month, may God listen to your prayer and answer your prayer. As you join us as a family of Deliverance Church to come before God in prayer and in intercession, I want to assure you, as a prophet of God, this is the month that you experience your healing. I assure you, as a prophet of God, this is the month that you will record your developments. I assure you, as a man of God, this is the month, some of you who have been believing God for marriage, may you hook up in this month. Some of you who have been believing God for employment, may your employment be done, be created in the month of July, in the year 2020. Elijah comes and Ahab asks, are you he that troubles Israel? Who is the troublemaker? Listen to this. The Bible says, and he answered, Elijah answers uh, King Ahab and he says, I have not troubled Israel. I have not troubled Israel, but you and your father's house, and in that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and you have followed the Baal. Elijah is saying, I am not the trouble of the children of Israel, but you, King Ahab, you are the trouble. I want to help us understand, my sisters and sisters, my brothers, the trouble of mankind is the devil. The trouble of mankind is Satan. The trouble of mankind is sin. The trouble of mankind is not originating from God. It is originating from the works of the devil. John chapter number 10 and verse number 10. For the devil comes but to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, Jesus, have come that may, they may have life and life abundantly. God came that sons of God may live in the blessings of God. That sons of God they may be able to enjoy the blessings of uh, Jehovah. That the children of the Most High God may be able to live in the blessings of God. Why are we not living in the blessings of God? The answer is the devil. You know, some of us are thinking that uh, uh, this and that has happened and that's why you are suffering. It all falls back to the devil. He doesn't want you to enjoy life. But I want to help you understand, in the month of July, the year 2020, as we begin our prayer month, you will enjoy. Why? Because 
Your prayer and fasting will not go in vain. God will answer your trouble. God will answer your need. God will come by and deliver you. For his business is to deliver. The thief comes but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came that the people of God may be able to enjoy the blessings of their maker. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says that I am not the problem. Religious says, but you, Ahab, you are the problem. You are the reason the people are suffering. Why? You have forsaken the commandments of the Lord. My brothers and sisters who are listening to me this evening, I want to help you understand. Don't forsake the commandments of God. Don't forsake the statutes of God. God is calling you to serve him. God is calling, him to, calling you to worship God. God is calling you that you may be able to commune. Prayer is about talking to God. Cast your cares and burdens unto the Lord. This month, we want to cast our cares. This month, we want to bring our pain. We want to bring our troubles. We want to bring our issues. You remember that woman who had the issue of blood? It is until she came and touched the garment of, the, of Jesus, that's when her issues were done. The Bible says in verse number 24, where we read, Call you on the name of your gods, the God that will answer by fire. Let that be God. In the months of July, as we go before God in prayer and fasting, I want to pray that the Lord our God will answer our prayer by fire. The Lord our God will answer our prayer by thunder. The Lord our God will meet us at our point of need. There are some things in our lives that have stagnated. May the month of July be a month when the things will be able to start rolling. Our projects that had stalled. May our prayer and fasting in the month of July be the reason our projects will begin uh, moving again. Some scarcities that we have suffered. I know the season we are and the dispensation we are living in, the season of corona. It is only by prayer and fasting that this corona thing will be swept out of the borders of this country, that this corona thing will be destroyed in the borders of this country in the name of the Lord. I know how frustrated you could be. Businesses are going down. The economy is coming down. May you join us in prayer and fasting that this thing can be won not by bullet. This thing can be won not by strength. It can only be won by prayer and fasting. It is so sad to live in this nation and you can't be able to afford a meal. It is so sad to operate in this nation and people cannot go to hospital. The, the hospitals, the owners, the CEOs in hospitals are saying, the hospitals, people are not going to hospital because they fear corona. Let's come to join our hands together to just pray. And like Jeremiah, call unto me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things that you do not know. My dear brothers and sisters, I know there are things you don't understand about your life. There are some things you don't understand about this country. There are some things that you do not know, understand about your family. Today, we want to bring this message to encourage you. Wherever you are, you don't have to come to our church, but you can join us in this prayer and fasting. You do not have to be part of this church, but you can join us in prayer and fasting that we may win this war. War on corona, we shall win in prayer and fasting. War on a poor economy, we shall win it in prayer and fasting. The war of killings and massacre in this country, we shall only win it in the name of the law, in prayer and fasting. I want to help us understand, if you are a parent in this nation, you know what I want to say. It is in the public domain that uh, for the last three months from when schools were closed, our girls have kept conceiving. And nobody is, wants to be blamed on this. The parents do not want to be blamed. The girls do not want to be blamed. But I know there is a, a blame that is being put on the young people or whosoever. It is criminality, I know that. But yet, it falls to 
the trouble. Who is causing the trouble of pregnancies? It is the devil. I do not want us to fight the young people or the men. Men in this country are the endangered species. Everybody is saying, where are these men that are impregnating? We want to arrest them, put them in prison. Let us pray about this. This is the hand of the devil. It is not about what the man has done. It is not about what the teenager. Some of these pregnancies are among us, the teenagers. The girl is in form two and the boy is in form three. Why do you take the boy only and jail him and then you are leaving the girl? I want us to pray about this. This, this is so serious. I watched a clip today on Citizen and a father whose two daughters are pregnant and, uh, and uh, the, the grandchild is pregnant. My goodness. That is terrible. That is terrible. We are living in a bad society. And why bad society? The work and the hand of the devil. Let's not be able to give a devil a, foot, a footstool. Let, no, let us not be able to give the devil a hand, a small area in our lives. Join us together in this month that we may pray for our marriages. Join us in this month that we may pray for our children. Join us in this month. When we are talking about pregnancies, none of us is talking about the drug peddling. I work and operate in the slums of uh, uh, Mukuru Kwanjenga. Drug peddling is, is all over. Our children are dry, dying in drugs. Our children are dry, dying in drunkardness. If you're a parent, you don't have to be able to think twice. Come on board. Let us pray for our children. Come on board. Let us be able to pray for our sons. Let's pray for our daughters. Let's pray for our marriages. Let's pray for our nation. This nation can only be able to heal by the power of prayer. This nation can only be able to move by the power of prayer. This nation can be only be able to grow by the power of prayer. I'm so grateful. Why? Because maybe Corona has come with a, a silver lining. The churches would be, the buildings are closed. But yet we are saying, we can pray from our homes. We can be able to pray from our bedrooms. We can be able to pray from our business areas. We can be able to pray from wherever we are. But I'm praying that this month, the month of July, we shall stand up together in prayer and we shall call on heaven. And like the Bible says, call unto me. God is saying, call and I'll answer. We don't have, not because we must not have. We don't have because we ask not. Let's come before God in prayer. Dedicate an hour for prayer. Dedicate two hours in this month for prayer. Dedicate yourself. So my ladies and gentlemen, let me say this with a lot of humility. I know you are not suffering on how to get lunch, but there are people who do not have a lunch. If you can spare a lunch and buy somebody who does not have uh, food with that lunch, in prayer and fasting, God will bless you. God will bless you. I said God will bless you. Spare some money. Spare your lunch as you go before God in prayer and fasting. And then you don't put that money for lunch to buy somebody who does not have food. There's somebody around about you whose house has been closed just because they lost their job. They have no income. They have no nothing. They are suffering. Can you caution them? Can you minister to them? This is about the prayer and fasting in this month. I want us to pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for giving us a short moment to just share the word. Lord, we are lifting the, uh, this nation unto you. Lord, as we come before you in prayer and fasting, we want to pray for new strength. Strengthen us in prayer. As we dedicate ourselves to call to heaven, we are praying for this nation. We are praying for the counties in this nation. We are praying for families in this nation. We are praying for marriages in this nation. We are praying for the economy of this nation. Lord, may this month be our month of miracle. Meet us at our point of need, we pray. I pray this in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And all of us said amen. Before we go, allow me to just ask you, 
Maybe you have listened to this sermon and you have not given your life to Jesus. Even when we are calling, we are asking you to come and join us for a month of prayer. You do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. I want to invite you that may be able to receive Jesus Christ. For you to begin praying and fasting together with us, may you take this time to choose Jesus Christ and invite him into your life. Say, Lord, I invite you into my life. I am a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I pray this, believing in Jesus' name. And all of us said, Amen. Amen. You have given your life to Jesus. God bless you.